Okay guys, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is actually happening. So we know that Justin Trudeau censorship bill C-18 passed in late June and Meta and Google said that they would be banning the publication of news in Canada on their platforms. This is not a drill. This is actually happening. It is starting today as we speak. So this is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. This is not known as like a to be like a bastion of conservative thought or whatever. This is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And it is reporting right now that Meta is ending news availability on its platforms in Canada starting today. It's starting now as we speak. Meta has been taking time to get this news ban in place. It is in place. It's rolling out. You, if you are in Canada, you are not going to be able to see news on Facebook. Google very shortly. It is starting. This is because of Justin Trudeau's censorship bill. This is crazy. This is on the CBC. It is true. It's happening. Here's what I need you to do. Share this video. This isn't partisan. Every Canadian needs to understand that because of Justin Trudeau's censorship bill, C-18, they're not going to be able to see the news on Facebook or on Google. Okay? So that's number one. You've got to share this video. Number two, there is a link in the, com or in the description of this video. So if you go out and you look in the link of the video description i'll put it in the comments in a minute i have been trying to write to you to create loopholes in this because i knew it was coming so i'm writing to you i'm i'm in every day i'm trying to write as much as possible to give you updates on what's happening in ottawa if you click subscribe in the link that is in that link in the video description there i'll be able to directly communicate with you to be honest with you, we don't know what's going to be banned. We don't know how this is going to roll out. We don't know what links are what you're going to be able to see. We already knew that Facebook um, had algorithmic type bans before this even started. But now formally, there's no sharing of news in Canada on Facebook. So again, that's a CBC. That's a Canadian Broadcasting Corporation is reporting this. I need you to click the link in the video description, please. Allow me to directly communicate with you. If you have not other news organizations in Canada that you, you, you read or you watch, you've got to subscribe to them too. That is the only way you're going to be able to see the news in Canada. Now, some of you will put in the, in the comments there, oh, well, what about a VPN? Honestly, in the fall, the Liberals have said that they are going to probably have even more strict censorship reg regulations, more regulations of the internet. We don't know what's coming down the pipe here, but we knew, do know starting today that Facebook and Google, because of Justin Trudeau's censorship bill, are blocking the news in Canada. So again, this is critical. There's a loophole for me to communicate directly with you. Click the link that's in the video description. I will put it in the comments as soon as I'm done and click subscribe. It is free. It allows me to tell you about what's happening in Ottawa as opposed to using this platform because I don't have a choice anymore. This is the way that I need to communicate with you. So you have to share this video. I know I sound like a broken record coming on here all the time, but guys, this is like, how can we hold the government to account if they've passed bills that allow this type of censorship? And that's exactly what they want. Do you think that Justin Trudeau is sad today that Facebook is banning the news? No, of course not, because he doesn't want people like me or other like people that are reporting on what's happening or discussing the news in Canada. He doesn't want that to be out there. That's why he passed this bill, right? Seriously. So this is what's happened. I need you to, again, like, just take one minute. Honestly, click on the link that's in the video description. I'll put it in the comments. Click subscribe, share this video, and let people know this is nonpartisan. I don't care how you vote. In order for us to have any sort of political discourse in this country, we need to have news. And today, Facebook is starting to ban the news. It's starting, it's happening. You guys have known it's coming. I think a lot of people didn't think it was actually gonna happen. It has started. This is crazy, this is Canada, this is happening in our country. The only way that we can fight back is if we know it's happening. And so I just ask you again, I'm trying to create loopholes for you guys. Click on that link, click subscribe so I can keep in touch with you and share this video so that others know just how crazy this is. Um, support the news that you do subscribe to. It's so important today have that direct communication link with me. I don't know what's going to happen with this platform now that this is rolling out. Um, but please, please click subscribe. Um, the article that's in there, the link there, it's telling me telling you about this big, massive thing that happened in Prince Edward, Prince Edward Island with Christia Freeland and the carbon tax. 
unpacking that for you. Unpa uh, there's a whole bunch of other articles on there of unpacking the cabinet shuffle. Some of the other policy that's really had a big impact uh, that's been rolled out in the last week. Please click subscribe. Facebook is banning the news because of Justin Trudeau's censorship bill. So is Google. This is Canada. This is crazy. Working hard for you. Have a great day.